Uh, these sections uh, are about creating elements, uh, making other elements from others. And, and let me give you an example here. Let's say we have nitrogen 14 plus an alpha particle goes to a proton plus what? See if you can fill in the blank here of what is the other product. Okay, so we've got an alpha particle, we've got in the reactants hitting this average sort of nitrogen atom. What are we going to go to? What atom did you get? Should have got oxygen. So this is four and two. This is one and one. Uh, so it's nine on the left. You get to get nine on the right. So you need an eight here. That's why it's oxygen. On the top, eighteen. On the left, on the right, one plus seventeen will be eighteen. So it's an isotope of oxygen. This is a way to make heavier elements. You bombard them uh, uh, with, say, an element, say, with an alpha particle or other, or you bombard two elements together to make bigger ones. Uh, so you might have heard in the news there's a hadron collider uh, that's always breaking down, but they're doing a lot of re interesting research there. Or if you've been to Stanford, the Stanford Linear Accelerator, Brookhaven, Berkeley, a lot of different places, national labs, Argonne National Labs, have these colliders that you can collide heavy elements or two elements or a particle and element together to make bigger elements. Uh, and so in Berkeley in the 1940s, all like the transuranium elements, those elements down there, they were all discovered by this sort of method. So that's how people were making new elements. And today, how new elements are formed, you're com bombarding two elements together to make a bigger one. Okay? The bigger the elements get, typically the more unstable they get. So where is this done? What is it like? In something that's called uh, a cyclotron, one example of where you can do it, or a synchrotron. What happens uh, is you have in the middle uh, some charged particle start point, and because of magnets that you have on the outside and alternate, that can alternate charges, you make this start to wiggle. It starts to wiggle, and then it starts to go in this spiral pattern going outward and outwards more, and then you can shoot it right out of that cyclotron or synchrotron. <coughs> Uh, with really high energy and have it bump into another part. So you can alternate those charges uh, and have magnets in there to cause this circular sort of path. Or there's linear accelerators where they just accelerate it from a dead start.